Hi everyone, this is Danny for Dude Tech and welcome back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 CDA tweaks that's going to be compatible if you are already jailbroken on iOS 10 up to iOS 10.3.3. That video is going to be for you. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first tweak that I have for you guys, which is going to be the better power menu. And when you download the tweak, the tweak is going to be giving you a nice and beautiful effect if you want to power off your device. Let me just show you guys right now. Let me just hold down my power menu here. And as you guys can see, it's going to be bring that nice effect. The blur effect even is going to be providing you with respring. So if you want to respring your device, it's available here. Let me jump right now under the settings to show you guys so when you top under the settings we have a lot of our sliders here you can adjust the slider the way you like to bring the effect that you like when you want to press down on your power if you want to shut down your device or even if you want to respring your device this is the effect you will be get in your jailbroken device really beautiful and nice week if you want to download it better power menu Okay, so the next one is going to be the Dock XI. This is going to be bring the iOS 11 DAC on your jailbroken device. And this one is going to be work for your iOS 10 if you are already jailbroken on iOS. So this is the style of the DAC and how it's going to be looks like when you set the tweak on your jailbroken device. And if we go right now under the settings, let me just stop on the tweak here. So the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak, and there is another option. So if you want to show the DAC icon names, you can enable that, disable that the way you like, but I like it without any kind of names here, which is gonna be give your DAC really nice looking and clear. And this is the way of the tweak. And if you download the tweak, and the tweak is not working so all what you need to do to just respring your device so your device will be take the effect and as i show you guys this is the way of the tweak how it's going to be work on your jailbroken device highly recommend you guys to give it a try that xi for the ios 10. Next one is going to be Force 3D App Shortcuts and this is going to be giving you a 3D touch on any icon on your jailbroken device. That is too many tweaks that's going to be giving you the same thing but to be honest this is the best one that I ever seen and uh, this is the best one that I already downloaded on my jailbroken device. Okay, so let's jump right now under the settings to show you guys what to do after you download the tweak. The first thing you need to enable the tweak, there is more than a slider here. If you want to adjust those, even there is more options. If you want to use those, you can do it the way you like once you're done. All what you need to do to hit respring, respring your device so your device will be take the effect. Let me show you guys right now the effect of that 3D here. It's really smooth and nice if you want to use it in your iDevice. I told you there is too many 3D touch effect. You can download it, but this one is, for me, my opinion, is going to be the best. So this is the way for that tweak and how it's going to be work on your iDevice. Make sure to give it a try, Force 3D App Shortcuts. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be talking about the minimal hood and this is going to be bring a nice volume hood into your jailbroken device. Let me just show you guys how is that going to be looks like if you want to take a look at it. And then the other thing which is going to be really beautiful, you can change the uh, style, you can change the location for that hood in your jailbroken device. Let me jump right now and talking about everything under the settings. So the first thing when you download the tweak, you need to enable the tweak. And then as I told you guys, there is too many options you can go through. So you can change the color for your hood. You can uh, choose uh, like uh, we have uh, four. Yeah, we have four style of theme here. So you can change the theme. You can change, as I told you guys, the location mode here. So there is, as I told you guys, too much options here. So you can do it and you can put it the way you like in your iDevice. Really beautiful tweak if you want to download it in your jailbroken device. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try. Minimal hood. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be talking about it, which is going to be the BioProtect, which is going to be really beautiful and nice tweak. But this, for this one, you have to pay for it. So uh, what is the BioProtect for? It's going to be protect any kind of uh, app or application that you have in your jailbroken device. Let me just show you guys right now. First of all, let me just jump under the settings to show you guys and talking about the tweak. So first of all, if you want to jump 
on the uh, protect as you guys can see here let me just use my fingerprint to jump under the settings so the first thing we have here to enable the tweak and then we have too many other options you can go through one of the options which is going to be i'm going to be showing you here if you want to use your touch id here so this is going to be available and if you want to use the passcode option it's just going to be available here and then also the circle uh, color so you can choose uh, any one of these fingerprint option you can pick the one that you like uh, to show up when you want to open or lock the app that you want we have the application section which is going to be uh, you can enable or toggle the app that you want to put the passcode or a touch id on it and then let the tweak do the uh, job for you so as you guys can see right now already i uh, protect my app store here and i already toggle that to showing you guys the way how is that going to be work if i want to press to run the app store is not going to be work so nobody can mess around with the app store till i can use my fingerprint and that's going to be work for me right away even you can set more than application you can set a lot of things using that by a protect for your i device even if you want to lock uh, the uh, lock screen notifications the folders the settings more than think here there is a lot of options here as you guys can see most of the things you can protect it with that tweak right there which is going to be really nice to giving you that effect first of all and then the second thing to protect a lot of things in your jailbroken device make sure to give it a try by your protect the next tweak that i have which is going to be pretty cool and this one called edge so when you download edge there is too many edge uh, style or tweaks so you need to make sure i'm talking here about the edge which is going to be the giving you the side face which is going to be looks like this one here so there's too many edge tweaks you need to make sure i'm talking about this one here which is going to be giving you the side face here so it's going to be giving you which apps right now you're running and even you can top here to add the app that you want to just like so and then even you can uh, tap on a plus here if you want to add a task and then even if you want to add any one of your friends right away you can call them from here and you can use the bottom here for swapping and you can just stop here to uh close that okay so under the settings the first thing when you download the tweak you need to enable the tweak we have the section of configuration here too many options you can go through and then you can do a lot of stuff the way you like so this is the only thing that we have here this is the only option enable the tweak configuration you want to do some stuff go ahead and do that and this is the way or the style of the tweak how it's going to be work as i told you guys really beautiful if you want to set it in your i device make sure to give it a try edge okay so the next tweak which is going to be the photo icon and this one is going to be a bring the last picture that you already took and they're going to be set it on your uh, icon face for your photo as you guys can see right now here let me just first of all jump under the settings to show you guys most of the things so the first thing when you download the tweak you need to enable the tweak we have more than option here let me just uh, show you guys first of all what i'm talking about how is the picture will be set it by itself so you can can select the album from here so i already picked the folder and now press on done and you will be good to go for example right now we have the tweak face so i'm going to be take a picture here the slider here for a blur if you want to add a blur to uh, the uh, the folder or to the picture and then even we have the image blur effect so this is no effect here if you want to choose one of the options here i'm gonna be choose the dark blur here if you want to and uh, all what you need to do right now just hit the respring respring your device and we'll, we'll see after that there you go so after i respring my device this is how it's going to be the photo icon right now based on my last screenshot that i already took this is the blur here if you guys can take a look at it and this is the way of that tweak how it's going to be work on your jailbroken device really nice and a beautiful tweak if you want to give it a try photo icon okay so the next tweak which is going to be most of you guys they're going to be like it which is going to be the i widgets and uh, pretty much if you want to get some widgets in your jello blocking device 
first of all you need to download the i widgets once you download the i widgets here it's going to be allow you in any empty space here to just stop and hold that's going to be bring the widgets that you already download into your jello broken device just like so simply you can just stop on any kind of widget from the section here that's going to be uh, show up right away in your jello broken device so in order right now to download a widget if you want to into your Jello broken device you need to download another tweak and this one is going to be called the free iWidgets app so after you complete downloading the free iWidget app you will be find it here on your springboard so uh, all what you need to do right now top on it launch the app and you will be find a lot of widgets you can choose the one that you will like from here all what you need to do top here to download the widget that you will like press on yes wait a little bit for the other pop-up message Con complete and you will be good to go right now find an empty space tap and hold that's going to be bring most of the widgets that you already download and you can top on any one of them if you want to customize but i highly recommend you guys to leave it as the same top on uh done here and then you can just top and hold and bring the widget anywhere you like and then you can set it just like so so this is how you kind of bring the i widgets in your jello broken device and uh, in order to uh, do that as i show you guys you need to download two different tweaks to do that next is the tweak which is going to be called mez for the ios 10 if you want to bring the ios 11 control center into your jello broken device you need to download mez there is too many other uh, tweaks is going to be bring the ios 11 control center style into your jello broken device but to be honest in my opinion this is going to be the better one and it's really nice and beautiful smooth as you guys can see right now here with the 3d effect as I told you guys, really, really smooth. Let me jump right now into the settings. We have two sections here, which is going to be the enable section and disable section. All what you need to do, top and hold and enable uh, the, uh, the, uh, the icon that you want. Or you can just disable that, enable that the way you like. And this is how it's going to be, looks like when you want to launch your control center into your Jello broken device. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try. Really amazing for the iOS 10.